Every night, it was the same. It began in the old house, the one James hadn't visited in over a decade. The front door would creak open as if the wind had pushed it, but there was no wind, only silence, and the faint smell of damp wood. He stepped inside, his shoes sinking into the dust-covered floor as the air pressed against his skin, thick and heavy. Down the narrow hallway, past the faded wallpaper and the familiar portraits of distant ancestors, he felt it, the growing unease. Each step pulled him closer to the one room he feared. No matter how much he wanted to turn back, his legs moved without his consent, carrying him deeper into the shadows. At the end of the hall stood a door. It was always closed, but never locked. His hand would lift, trembling, reaching for the brass doorknob. It was cold, colder than the air around him. He twisted it slowly, the door creaking open to reveal the dark, empty room. Empty, except for her. She stood in the center, her back turned to him, pale and motionless, long hair cascading down her spine like dark water. The light flickered from an unseen source, casting shadows that danced unnaturally around her figure. He wanted to scream, to run, but his voice was trapped, just as it always was. His body refused to obey. Then she turned. Her face was twisted, warped in a grotesque, haunting way. Her eyes were hollow, wide, and filled with a darkness that sucked the air from his lungs. And every night when those empty eyes locked onto his, she would whisper the same chilling words, her voice like a rasping breath. You promised, James. You promised. He didn't know what the promise was. He couldn't remember. But the guilt pressed down on him, a crushing weight that suffocated his very soul. And just as her hand reached out, skeletal fingers stretching toward him, he would wake. Heart pounding, sweat soaking his sheets, James would sit up in bed, his chest heaving as the echoes of her words faded into the night. But no matter how long he sat awake, terrified of the next fall into sleep, he knew it would come again. It always did. Every night, the same nightmare, 